Hi everybody, my name is Zero. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. I certainly appreciate it. Marvel has just dropped their brand new final trailer for the Eternals. Let's take a look at it together and we're going to break it down a little bit. Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. The sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. How long do we have? Seven days. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the deviants. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, all the other terrible things throughout history. We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. By who? We need to find the others. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. This is what the end of the world looks like. At least we have front row seats. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. We have loved these people since the day we arrived. When you love something, you protect it. You can't protect. Perfect safe house. Well, what's this even made of? Vibranium. Fall collection. IKEA. With each trailer, this movie looks epic, and I am very, very excited for it. So we start out with Selma Hayek's character, Ajak, talking to Richard Madden's character, Icarus, about the snap from five years ago. And I do love how Marvel and Kevin Feige said that the snap will have lasting effects on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we're seeing that in Phase 4. Of course, we saw Monica Rambeau brought back from the blip in WandaVision, the fallout from people being displaced after the blip, and then the subsequent forgetting of those displaced in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Of course, all the very variant Lokis in the Loki series. It seems like Marvel was having a lot of fun with the blip and the snap. We're now seeing the Eternals knew about the snap. They didn't really do anything about it, but as the trailer does continue, we start to figure out why. Uh, but it seems like the snap, all three of them, Thanos, Hulks, and Iron Man, did create enough gamma energy to start what they are calling the emergence. I'm going to take a guess, and this is either going to be one of two things. That energy was enough to make the Deviants want to come back to Earth after the Eternals did get rid of them at first, or maybe with the gamma radiation that was given off, that is a signal to the Celestials that Earth is ready to be judged. We're going to have to see in the movie. Ajak tells Icarus that they have seven days to prepare for the attack, and so they must gather the rest of the Eternals. We get a little bit of exposition in this trailer, with the Eternals telling us that they came to Earth 7,000 years ago to protect humans from deviants, which is comic accurate, but then Kit Harrington's character, the Black Knight, uh, does ask Cersei why the Eternals haven't really interfered with human history, all the war that's been going on, Thanos' snap is specifically referenced, and we learn that the Eternals were told not to meddle with human affairs unless the deviants were involved. Now, I know in the comics, at first, it was the Celestials just choosing not to be involved with, with things that are going on Earth. And then, of course, in the later runs of the Eternals, they just had their memories wiped. They kind of forgot that they were Eternals and had to be coming back. 
But it does seem like the MCU is going a different route and making it like the prime directive from Star Trek where you just don't interfere with primitive species. And then I love Kit Harrington's Black Knight asking by who? And then we get our first quote unquote shot of the Celestials. I know we did see one in Guardians of the Galaxy with S on the Searcher, but this one looks crazy. So not a thousand percent sure which celestial this is, but if the theory that maybe the gamma radiation that was given off by the snaps is a signal to the celestials that Earth is ready to be judged, it could very well be uh, Arsham the Judge. So very excited to just see which celestial we are dealing with right now. Icarus says we need to find the others, and we see Barry Kogan as Druig, Lisa McHugh as Sprite, Angelina Jolie as Thena, and Kamal Nandani as Kingo. Sprite talks about the end of the world and how they have a front row seat, which is kind of cool if you had the opportunity. It almost reminds me of Loki uh, and Loki on Lamentis. We also get to see Brian Tyree Henry as Fastest, creating what looks to be a dagger out of thin air. We then get the shot of all the Eternals together, ready to fight from left to right. There is Kingo, Lauren Ridloff as Markari, Madon Seok as Gilgamesh, Thena, Icarus, Ajax, Cersei, Sprite, and Fastus, with Druig weirdly missing, not there. I have heard some rumors and theories that he may be not the main antagonist, but part of how the Deviants can return. The Black Knight is also not in this shot. Now, we do know that Marvel has been known to alter their trailers, so Kit may have his powers by this time. I'm gonna guess he doesn't. I don't think they're gonna go too far down the Black Knight route in this movie. Weirdly, nobody behind Cersei, while Gilgamesh is clear clearly covering uh, Makari, so we'll just see if that ends up changing when the final movie does hit theaters. We hear how the Eternals feel the need to protect the Earth, and since they did have that rule of not interfering without Deviants being involved, we can't assume that the Deviants will be coming back somehow, or that the Eternals face another threat and are going against the wishes of the Celestials. The next shot looks to be an Eternals fortress. I couldn't really find anything in the comics about this one, so if you do know where they are, please let me know in the comments. To my knowledge, we get our first look at Kingo's powers as he uses energies from his hands and forming what looks to be finger guns and shoots out energy towards a deviant. I can't tell if this is early on in the movie or later. We do see Eternals landing on Earth and shooting deviants throughout the trailer, but we know that the movie will span thousands of years, so this could be early on before the quote-unquote band breaks up, so to speak. We get a couple of quick cuts, one of which does show another Celestial. This time it does look like Gammon on the Gatherer, but if you have better guesses, again, write down in the comments. Let me know. Angelina Jolie's character, Thena, is creating a weapon out of matter, which just visually looks amazing. They then doing battle with more deviants. Again, this all looks to be on the same beach as before, so I'm guessing this is when the Eternals first show up at Earth. We see other Eternals and their powers, Gilgamesh using an energy gauntlet to punch a deviant. We see Makari and her super speed, Icarus using his eye lasers, which sort of does look like Superman. Thankfully, they, they didn't go laser red. Uh, they have a gold tint to them, so that's always good. And then we get a voiceover by who I'm assuming is the main antagonist of the film, Crow. Now, Crow was the leader of the Deviants in the comics and was confirmed to be in this movie, so I do think this is our first look at him. Finally, get a little action in the trailer, Icarus using his powers to fight off a Deviant, and it looks more like it's in present day, and we aren't like fighting on a beach. I think the beach scenes are going to be very early in the movie, and then as the movie does go on, more Deviants start to present themselves. Cut to the title and the outro, which does look amazing, and I do love the ending joke between Icarus, Fastus, and Cersei, where Icarus thinks that they built the perfect safe house, and since the perfect safe house would obviously be made of vibranium, Icarus thinks everything is made of vibranium, smacks a table, and breaks it, to which Fastus tells him it's the fall collection from Ikea. Not knocking Ikea, but I think that table was due to break anyway. Eternal is going to be hitting theaters on November 5th, only in theaters. Fingers crossed that we actually get that out on the date that it is supposed to be out, and nothing too bad does happen. Well, that's all I found in the trailer, but if you did see more or want to correct anything, please leave a comment below. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter at 0G and Twitch at 0Gaming. Thank you so much, and have a great rest of your day.